channels and we have trends, okay? For example, what we look at here is a very, this is a very quick video, so let me just go to the point. What you're going to be identifying here as a trader is trend channels, or let's say trends. They are in two folds. They are the clean trends, okay? There are some that are very clean trends. So in this drawing, it looks so clean, it looks that like the arrows are meeting, the meeting point, the meeting point are, I mean, on point and everything. Now I'm just using lines over here, but I will show you some few examples or one example of what I'm trying to say. So here in this uptrend, um, we are looking at buying and selling. And if you can see at each point over here, so let me just quickly see this on this channel. So what you have to do here, if you don't know any strategy at all, as a forex trader, just be looking for trend channels. So for example, if it happens, it doesn't happen this week, fine, but it will surely, it happens often in the market. So you can see from here, at this point, you are definitely going to buy after confirmations. And um, I, know I won't talk about confirmations in this video. Here you, you get a confirmation, you buy, you get a confirmation here, you buy, you get a confirmation here, you buy. So let me just quickly add this other arrow over here. So you buy, you understand? So guys, this is how the thing is going. You buy, buy, buy. And then we sell at this point because this, this is called a clean what? A clean channel, a clean trend channel. What am I saying? I'm saying that maybe, for example, you don't sell over here, but you come and sell here. So the first two is not likely to be attended to because probably you would have missed this one. But because, and surely you miss it because before a trend starts or before any channel will start, it will start like that. It will start without showing that it's going to really be a trend. It can show that it's going to be a support and resistance, whatever. But this is actually a trend, a trend channel that also shows a support and resistance. So if you turn it to be a straight line, you will see that support and resistance or a ranging market over here. So at this point, being a trend channel, the first uh, rectangular area that I've circled will probably not reveal that it's going to be a trend. But as you go on, you could be able to sell and maybe have about two sales. I mean, you, you get what I'm saying. You might be able to get, I wanted to try to, uh, so you can get some sales here and get some buys here, all with what confirmation. So all you are looking for are what? Are trends or the trend or confirmations for this. So I said, if you don't know anything about Forex or you're an intermediate trader and you're not being profitable, you can stick to this strategy of finding trend channels. So you'll be buying and selling, buying and selling. And let me just say it is not 100%. There's no strategy that is 100%. But I am a, I'm a benefactor of this strategy and it works very well, especially when it comes to sales, especially when it comes to sales. That is on the other on the other example I'm going to give. But these are for buyers. I mean, mostly you can buy, you can sell when there was a clean channel. So when I say a clean channel, I mean when there's a clear resistance at this level. So anytime it gets to this area, it's resisted at the first, it's resisted at the, at the third, and here it's resisted. So that would have been our next sell. But the, the one, the buy trades are very obvious because we are looking at, we're actually looking at an uptrend, okay? But I just showed you a clear channel, okay? A clear channel. So we would have shot over here and we would have bought over there. So I'm, I'm sure you're getting the concept already. Now, if you go to a downtrend, channel you also see a clear clean one so the reason why these lines meet is because there is what well, there are multiple touches so like i said usually the first set of lines here you know, instead of um candles i'll be showing if it's a candle chart you see the, the first ones will not reveal itself as a trend it is when you're you having meeting points like this so you have a meeting point like this so let's forget about the first the first two buys and focus on the next ones so now you're going to see now the touches over here. These are clear support and resistance on a channel or in a trend channel. So in this case, I would have been a seller, a seller, mostly a seller. I would have been selling at every point it hits here with my clear confirmation. And I'll be, I'll be making massive, massive pips. For example, if I'm here to here, I'll be make, making 90 pips. If I'm here to here so that as you are making 90 pips or is it 100 pips as you are making 90 pips at each of these cells and let's say this this first this, this last two or this first or this last three one two three i could be making 90 90 pips of each of the cell but like i said it's a clear channel that means that for example if i will not be a buyer at this point 
I will, if I'm not a buyer in the forex trading, but when I see this clear channel of it hitting at this line and going up, I will definitely turn by probably turn into a buyer at this point and also be adding more what be adding more pips into the market. Now let's look at the difference. Now if you look at here and here, this is a this call and this is also a trend. Okay, a trend trading strategy, and we also have a breakout trend breakout. Now if you look at the previous one, I said it was a clean trend channel where there's a clean support and there's a clean resistance. Now, in this example, it is not a clean support, nor a clean, so it's not a clean resistance. So this is an uptrend. So we see a clean support, but we don't see a clean resistance. So at this point, we are looking for, we are, we are mostly looking for what? Buys, so guys, we're looking for what? We're looking for buys. Now, assuming this, this buy wasn't there, but was here, you would have sold because for those who know about patterns, you would have known that this is a what? A double top or let's say an m pattern now this m pattern or double let, let me stick to double top this double top would have caused you to sell over at this point okay but remember that's not what we're looking at right now so if you want more details it's it's, it's, it's be better for you to join the class so we're looking for this is definitely looking for trend so like i said usually the first the first two or three buy indications might not be too clear so it is Okay, or maybe the first might not be too clear. So in this example, we have like multiple charges on this, uh, what do you call it, support trend line. And we are looking for another touch to that place and we buy. So usually whenever you are in an uptrend, you look for buys. Buys often work well. Buys work very well. So look at this. Assuming it moved from here to here, we're looking at how many, how many pips, about 80 pips, guys, 80 pips. And also if it's a, it's a, it's a very, sometimes they, they are short, Sometimes they are short. Oh, what is that? What is that covering the whole? Okay, we're looking about, uh, okay, about, let's say 50, 60 pips, all right? 60, 50 pips that we are looking at over here. And it goes on and I don't want to talk about a breakout at this point because I'm, I wanted to show you this, the difference between a trend channel and a trend, okay? Uh, a trend, a uh, proceeding trend, they are all trends. But like the trend channel has a clear support and a clear resistance because of the touches that it makes. So in this particular trade, we are looking for buys only. If it's possible, you can look, you can also go for sales. It's all up to you, but it's safer to look for buys before the breakout. So I see at this point, at this breakout point, usually we are looking for buys. So usually somebody would have bought, and that's what I'm saying. That not every strategy is hundred percent. I mean, show me a, a strategy that is 100%, and I'll show you a market that will show you that yeah, there is no 100% strategy out here. The market will show you. Now, look, let's look at the, the downtrend. So here, we will also be looking for sales. So for those who know me as a seller, you know what I'm talking about. You know I like to sell the market. So for example, we did, we had this trade, sim, similar trade, whatever here, on BTC USD on our last a live trading session that I had with you. You guys can bear witness with me that at every point it gets to the trend line, I saw. And I did one live in the trading live session. Even that day, somebody was showing us some, uh, what do you call this, indicator. And I said, you should stick to price action. Indicator is fine if it confirms your trades. So here we sell. At this point, I have, so let me, let, me, let me clean this one because I told you that usually the first, the first, the first set might not reveal itself. It's usually the second, the second touches that might reveal themselves. So, like I said, if you don't know any strategy at all as an intermediate trader, as a beginner, don't go here. Just stick as a if you're an intermediate trader, then you could, you could be applying this strategy because it's a very simple, simple strategy. You're looking for what trends or trend channels, and this is a trend, a downtrend. You're looking for sales so at this point when it gets to this point with a clear confirmation that i can't talk about here you're going for sales like i said this is for star vision fx you can share this video across if you would like to for people to learn so you'll be selling at every point so for those in the one-on-one -on -one class you know what i'm talking about i say confirmations and other and other and other and other things okay guys okay so let's so looking for more sales at this point we'll sell so as I was saying, for those who joined the live stream session the other day, you saw me selling BTC USD just like this. Though this example is shown, it's being shown on a GBUSD chart. Forget about it. I just I just use it for drawing. But when I was trading the BTC USD, some of you saw Bola was on the line, um, the other man was on the line, Bright was on the line. Several of you were on that on the trading live trading session, and you saw me doing. And you have a breakout. 
I don't want to talk about breakout here. Maybe I'll talk about breakout in another video. So we're looking for, so that, like I said, this is a trend channel stroke trend, uh, moving trend or moving downtrend or moving uptrend trading. And you can see that we are selling when it's going on a downtrend. We are buying when it's going on an uptrend. And also with a clean channel like this, we will be buying and selling if we have this meeting point as clean as you see them. If you don't see them clean, then you have to be thinking of the other way, which is the buying only or selling only, depending on the trend that it is in. So let me just show you some quick, clear examples over here that will benefit all of you. Now, you know, sometimes this is a real life example. Sometimes, and I've used the line chart. I use the line chart over here just to find my clear meeting point or using the line chart. You know, mostly traders don't talk about line charts, but I do talk about line charts. So if I've not seen any trader on YouTube talking about line chart, maybe I might be the first, or maybe after seeing this video, you'll you be, you be the one to talk about it on YouTube. Whatever it is, let's let's use line chart sometimes. When we are drawing trend lines, support and resistance, whatever that needs a meeting point, let's often use trend, uh, sorry, line chart in order to do that. Then we come back to our candlestick chart, and you can see clearly over here, the candlestick chart is going to help you identify those um, confirmations that will help you to further go up into. And this is a, this is a perfect life, uh, real life example that I told you that in the first, usually in the first, uh, in the first area, it doesn't really reveal that is a, a trend is starting until because you can see some um, push to that, that upside and push it down. So you might, you might be thinking that it's going to be a ranging market. But as you can see over here, from here to here, from where I place first place the buy trade to here, this is not me taking the transition as an example for you because I do take buy trades as well, but mostly sell trades. So this is actually a clear channel or a clear trade channel because we have multiple charges over here at this resistance showing that there's going to be some sales going on over here. And then we can see this buy over here. So this could have been somebody's trade. And let's look at the, the number of pips from this side to where this line is. We are looking at 38 pips on GBPUSD because I'm looking at GBPUSD, uh, what do you call it, a chart. But on, on certain, or certain uh, what do you call it, platforms, we can see that on, on certain uh, pairs, like BTCUSD, you can see some more pips over there. So it's like 45 pips. So these are pips you could have made from this strategy i mean if you are only trading this strategy you could be making good good money so guys try this back test it go back in time go back to some parts of the man you trading you to back test these trades okay I, this is a very I, I don't want to make this video a very long video i would have done a playback for you to see maybe we'll clear some part of the chat and then now another real life example is what you are seeing over here. This is another real life example. Remember, I'm looking at this at the 50 minute time frame. If you go to the smoke the, at the high time frames, too, you will likely see it also as clean as, as it is. But these are all perfect examples over here using the 50 minute time frame. I'm actually a, a one hour time frame trader, but in this example, I decided to use the 50 minute time frame too, for you to see a bit of some noise. Um, I, don't, I don't encourage noise, but a bit of some noise here and there. Maybe let me let me try changing it to the okay. So so we are in the one hour time frame. Yeah, you see, it's not as clear as I wanted it to be. But so let you let's go back to the fifteen minute time frame. I know when to use the one hour time frame, but at this point, I wouldn't use it here. Okay, all right, so guys, so this is another example over here, as you can see in this example. So I can show you several examples, but when we go back to, um, okay, so I, I think I saw something here that I wanted to show you. Yeah, so when we, when we, when we see this one over here, let's, let's, let's come here, yeah. Now look at this one, the one that we I'm showing you over here. The one I'm showing over here, it is a, it's also a trend, okay? But it's not too obvious because there's a bit of resistance here as well. Also showing some kind of a clean channel 
over there. Now, channels can work on support and resistance trends or whatever. So in this case, we're looking for buy, buy, and sell, sell. Now, the reason why, is, the reason why I'm showing a sell here because we are looking at a double top over here at this point. So there's a, there's a first sell. And I told you that usually the first moves, the first move don't usually reveal themselves, but this second move could have revealed itself for a sell because we would have identified a double top over the now or an m an m pattern over there and we see another one at this point this previous buy level would have been your buy over here as you guys can see and then we have another example also over here so the real the real life examples are not as clear as how i showed you from the arrow lines okay it was not as clear because the real life examples are the ones you have to be identifying the confirmations and whatever you need to identify in order to trade the market you understand so there's a this another example here like i said the first ones might not be as obvious but i think the second and the third is the second touch and the third touch is a clear example now in real life example we would have expected the market to touch here we we'll go for our buy and then and then leave, leave at any point because it's a one hour it's a 15 minute time you can leave at any point or scalp and then we would expect it to come back and then we go for another buy. Now, if you observe, it didn't go to this line. It didn't come to the line. So what, what, what do we look at? So this would have been a real life example where we'll be looking at this previous resistance touch. So then we draw that trend line or that line as, as I've drawn over there. Let me show it clearly. See, I drew a line over there to indicate that because of that previous resistance, the market might not likely come to the trend. So I personally have not heard it anywhere, but I call it the trend zone. That is identifying zones for trends, okay? So now, instead of this first trend line, the one that you are seeing, instead of this one, let me make it bigger. And now instead of this line, we actually have to use, we actually, we actually have to use this line for the trade. Okay, we have to use that line for the next trade for the next trade. So there are things you should be looking out for before entering those trades, of which I said, I will make, not be able to reveal everything here on this on this short video. Uh, I think it's not even a short video because it's taking a while, all right. But I'm sure you are benefiting from the content already. So guys, enjoy this content. If you don't, if I intimidate you that who is losing some money, don't try every strategy you see. Learn the strategy, back test the strategy, and then what, even what I'm teaching you right now, don't just jump into it, back test it, go back in time, go back to December, go back to November. Look for go back to go back to 2019, go back to 2022, 2021. Identify trend. If it works and works for you, about 95% of the time it works, then you have to change some mindset of yours and begin to use simpler approaches to the market. And by the time you know, you'll not be drawing too much lines. People tell me that my charts are usually clean. <laughs> There's nothing, it's clean. Yeah, it's clean. But when I say clean, when you say clean, it's another, it's another word altogether. So then that's it, guys. This is how. So I told you, let me just do a quick flashback. We're looking at trends and then channels. So I think I've done a great job with this video. I'm sure you are enjoying it. Now, once again, this is not a YouTube video though. It looks like I'm, I'm doing a YouTube video. No, it's for my channel, Star Vision FX Telegram channel. So please enjoy the video, learn something, go to your chat, apply it. So once again, I, I advise you to use one, two, three months of this year if you are new to trading or you are losing money in the market, just sit down, invest in the forest market, get a mentor, most especially, you can learn from YouTube, but those same YouTubers, though they are giving us free content, they are also making money from the content they are sharing. And not only that, they are also mentoring. So I'm not saying anything negative about anything they are doing or anything they do. I'm only saying that that same person that is teaching on YouTube, I prefer to have him as a mentor directly than to just be watching his videos because he will not review everything. So do well to get a mentor, get someone to train you, get someone to show you simpler approaches to the market that can make you a very, very profitable trader. Guys, enjoy this video. Bye for now. Now, let me just quickly come back. Sorry about that. If you want to join my one-on-one -on -one class, I mean, do well, do well to do that. Jump in. So those who are using my star reaching, FX channel on Telegram. I mean, as some of you are already in my class. You already understand what I'm teaching already. Share this video to as many friends as you can. Share this to many other forex traders, beginners, intermediate traders, and let them enjoy the content as well. And if they also want to join the one-on-one -on -one class, 
they have to also come to Star Vision Channel, register for the channel, register for the class, and then be trained as well. So for those who are sharing to other channels and to other groups, God bless you. It's a forest community. Enjoy. <laughs>